In this module of the course, we're going to be delving into an integral aspect of Django development, migrations. For such an integral aspect of the Django development, there is very little information in the online world about Django migrations. My hope is that this module of the course will provide you some real insights into utilizing the Django migration systems, which can be applied to small and large scale Django projects. Right, so having said that, let's first of all start by understanding the need for Django migrations. In Django, migrations are a key functionality used to manage database schema changes. Simply put, migrations help us synchronize changes to our models. Here we have a person model on the left hand side, and it allows us to reflect those changes to the underlying database used in our project. If you do come into this slide completely new to migrations, simply put, in Django, we build Django models. Those models will be migrated through the Django migration system and then translated into a table in our database. The migration system from that point will help us synchronize any changes we make with our model to our actual database tables. We might think of migrations as the architects of our database evolution. As our application grows and evolve, so does the need for changes in the database structure. So migrations play a pivotal role in orchestrating these changes, ensuring our code and database remain in harmony. Django migrations are an automated mechanism for updating the database schema. And like we have already seen, it's used to reflect the changes in our Django models. So to summarize, Django migrations automate the process of updating the database to align with changes in our Django models, contributing to a seamless and organized database evolution. Right, so hopefully we have now grasped the essence of Django migrations to synchronize our Django models with the database. Let's explore why they are a crucial tool in our development arsenal. Now, one of the primary reasons to embrace Django migrations is to ensure that our database schema is always up to date with the current state of our Django models. This consistency is vital for the seamless integration of our code defined models with the actual database structure. Now, in my opinion, something we don't do much of in education is to develop our skills working collaboratively, developing applications. Django migrations foster collaboration among developers by providing a standardized way to apply changes to the database. This means that as multiple developers work on the same project, everyone can easily apply the same changes to maintain a consistent database schema. Mixing standardization with automation can sometimes be a recipe for success. Django migrations are not only a standardized way to apply changes, but it is a automated process. And migrations automate the process of updating the schema. And this will reduce the risk of manual errors during these updates. In summary, Django migrations not only ensure consistency between models and databases, but also promotes collaboration among developers while minimizing the potential for errors through automation. Migrations at a basic level will be used to apply changes when we add new models or fields, modify existing models or fields, or potentially delete models or fields. Now, 99% of tutorials and resources that you'll find will probably be utilizing the Django migration system for those type of operations. And to be fair, many projects, that's pretty much all that you're going to need to use the migration system for. But as your application scales, as it becomes more complex, there are more reasons to utilize the Django migration system. Now, what's important is that Django migrations are not just used for managing changes to the database schema. Data migrations are employed to manage changes to the data itself during structural modifications. Take, for example, when we introduce a new field, 
migrations can include data, transformations, or default values for existing records. The fact is that when our database scales, when our application scales and becomes more complex, handling data transformations becomes a really critical role in this process. And we find that we then gravitate to Django migration system to help support this process. In our Django RM mastery course, we have split Django migrations into two modules. First, looking solely at shaping database schemas and then focusing on handling data transformations. So we can summarize at this point and say that Django migrations provide an automated schema data evolution. So migrations automate the process of evolving the database schema and handling data transformations. Using a migration system ensures consistency with our Django models. It ensures a consistent alignment between Django models in the code and the actual database structure. It does this at the same time ensures collaboration. So migrations provide a standardized method for developers to apply changes, and this promotes collaboration on shared products. One of the main strengths of Django migrations is that it is an automated process. Automation in migrations will reduce the risk of manual errors during schema and data updates. So hopefully that's given you a grounding, a starting point to understand the need for Django migrations.